just like this, this is what has been causing all the flooding for the summer flood of 2014. The rain just keeps coming and coming and we're going for the record. Welcome to Stillwater, Minnesota. Of course, that would be in the United States of America. My name is Greg Sampson, local historian here. Stillwater is a city outside of a more famous city, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the United States of America. And you're witnessing history in the making. They are closing the Stillwater Lift Bridge, a bridge built in the 1930s, to all traffic for at least a week until the river crests because of this great flood that we're having here in 2014. For those of you that have seen my other films, they last did this and the Great Stillwater Flood of 2011. So come join me today as we take a look all over Stillwater at Bridges Past and Bridges in the Future, Stillwater Flood 2014. Shall we? We shall. If you're coming to Stillwater, just remember the lift bridge is closed. Make sure and use an alternate route. The mechanism that raises the bridge up and down is housed in these two buildings. And along with these pulley weights here, that's what makes the bridge go up and down. So when we have flooding, the bridge must be in the up position because otherwise, as you can plainly see, the water would be going right over the mechanism. As we continue our journey on the Stillwater Flood of 2014, Normally, this is a park, but of course, as you can see, it is completely and totally filled in with water. These are normally streets and walking paths and park benches and a gazebo. But now we're watching the gondola go through the gazebo along with many other boats and kayaks and canoes. Downtown Stillwater, Chestnut in Maine, rush hour. Nothing. Sound of absolute silence. This is the future sound of Stillwater, Minnesota. Once that brand new St. Croix Crossing Bridge is built, this is what this will be, Chestnut in Maine. We have a very rare glimpse into the future right now because the Stillwater Bridge is actually closed due to all the flooding in 2014. This is the sound of Stillwater's future. Sounds great, looks bright, as we watch Stillwater, Minnesota reinvent itself. Should be interesting. Behind me now, of course, is the St. Croix Crossing. Of course, it's just the piers right now as the 
construction is still well underway and of course the bridge is going to be so high when it's done that there will never be a bridge closed in Stillwater for flooding ever again. This will effectively close the 1930s era lift bridge which is going to go to a pedestrian only bridge. No more will 15,000 cars per day be coming through downtown Stillwater as soon as the brand new bridge opens. In fact at flood stage I would be completely submerged in underwater right now. Here we are at the St. Croix crossing. The St. Croix crossing piers are now at the regular height and they're just awaiting the superstructure of the bridge. They have been building all winter long even on the extremely cold days when it's been 30 below zero. It's quite an amazing but they made quite a bit of strides and in fact they got this segment of the bridge just about completed. Well, as you can see from the sign behind me here, Stillwater was founded in 1843. We've had numerous floods on the St. Croix River over the years. None greater than the flood of 1965. And of course that means the other river towns are flooding too, including Hudson, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Red Wing, so on and so forth. Come join me as we go on a little photo montage and take a look back at the flood of 1965. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Like our friends from 4 News at noon are here. What a great shot they have of the St. Croix Valley and of course the Stillwater Bridge being closed. This is Lowell Park completely and totally submerged and underwater from the high St. Croix River that hasn't even crested yet. Here is the gazebo. Normally roads and paths go to that. And we continue on our journey down the swollen, very swollen St. Croix River on the flood of 2014, Stillwater, Minnesota, United States of America. Well, as you can see right now, this is what the water levels normally look like here in Lowell Park, along with the lift bridge. You can see the water is down back to its normal level. Bridge is back in normal operation. Of course, during the flood, we'd have been many, many feet under the water. So come with me and join me as we continue on the Stillwater Flood of 2014. Shall we? We shall. Dobry dien, spasiba, dobry vecher. Yes, for my international speaking guests watching today, I thought I would do the ending of the program in Russian. Except one problem, I don't really know much Russian, so the heck with that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the Stillwater Flood of 2014 and also the St. Croix River Crossing Bridge Update. Got future installments coming as they happen. This is Stillwater behind me. We got the flood. It's going to crest. It should be exciting. In fact, we got a lot of great exciting things coming up here in Stillwater, Minnesota. When they close this bridge permanently, open the brand new St. Croix Crossing, watch Stillwater, Minnesota reinvent itself. Coming soon. Bye for now.